Hey everybody, in November 1863, which is nearly 157 years ago, President Abraham Lincoln traveled to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania to give a short speech, a speech that he believed would largely be forgotten. Today we know it as the Gettysburg Address, and in fact those words today are etched into stone at the Lincoln Memorial. As we head toward another presidential election and its ultimate outcome, I think it's important to look back and reflect on how close the American Republic came to being destroyed as a result of the American Civil War. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth upon this continent a new nation, conceived in liberty and dedicated to the proposition that all men are created equal. Now we are engaged in a great civil war, testing whether that nation or any nation so conceived and so dedicated can long endure. We are met on a great battlefield of that war. We have come to dedicate a portion of that field as a final resting place for those who here gave their lives for that nation might live. It is altogether fitting and proper that we should do this. But in a larger sense, we cannot dedicate, we cannot consecrate, we cannot hallow this ground. The brave men, living and dead, who struggled here have consecrated it far above our poor power to add or detract. The world will little note, nor long remember what we say here, but it can never forget what they did here. It is for us the living, rather, to be dedicated here to the unfinished work which they who fought here have thus far so nobly advanced. It is rather for us to be here dedicated to the great task remaining before us, that from these honored dead we take increased devotion to that cause for which they gave the last full measure of devotion, that we here highly resolve that these dead shall not have died in vain, that this nation, under God, shall have a new birth of freedom, and that government of the people, by the people, for the people, shall not perish from the earth. So there you have it. Those are the words that Lincoln believed would likely be forgotten, that few people would remember. But, of course, we do remember. And I think at the end, uh, his closing statement is really the, the quintessential statement about America that this government, this country, this, this thing we call the United States belongs to us. We are the government, the people. And he seemed to understand that with acute clarity. And he was probably speaking to, to the future, not directly to us, because how could he or anyone have really understood what a century and a half into the future would look like? But he understood that the Republic must survive, that civil war um, could not destroy this experiment that it put into motion. So take a moment and consider what happened all those years ago and consider what it means today. Thanks.